Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and we got another video right here. Today we're working on the 99 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 4.0 liter engine. This uh, vehicle has, I believe, 140,000 miles on it. But uh, what we're looking at today is going to be the cooling fan. So, on this video, what would happen? Cooling fans wouldn't turn on, the car would kind of overheat. So um, we start going. We start going after this. First thing that you want to do, I would highly recommend, if you do have this, if not, just get you a little book from uh, as the Chilton right there. You can get it from AutoZone or Rallys, and uh, you can actually look up this wiring diagram. And uh, this wiring diagram is pretty much straightforward. We have a fuse that goes into the relay which the relay turns on the fan so what I used on my uh, expedition I have this power probe as you can see press the top one that gives positive bottom gives negative ground power so now we have to see what uh what this fan gets does does it take uh does it take ground or uh, or power does it pull down or pull up that's something from Scanner Danner right there. But uh, as we can tell, so we're using the relay to power it up. So what we're going to do, this is what I have on the connector. I'm trying to find the easiest way to actually check this out. So what I have right under here, let me see. There's a connector. I put a, I actually put one of these on there. I'm going to turn off the sound so you don't hear the loud noise, but you can still see the light is blinking, showing that there's ground. But uh, I'm going to give this power and I'm going to see if the fans turn on. So, here it goes. I think you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can see the <laughs> that moving. The fans do work. So, after doing a little bit more research on this, I found out that these fan relays that are not in the fuse box is actually <laughs> under here they go out uh, pretty easy so I've already tested it out and I already found out that it was a fan relay so I'm just gonna show you uh, what to do uh, the way I'm doing this I'm gonna cut op I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna cut open the little a little hole right there and we're gonna use this grinding tool will so my main thing is I told the customer about it he said go ahead make sure that you tell your customer if this is your vehicle it's your choice right here to do it but what I'm gonna do I made a with this I made a slight little cut so I'm gonna put it right back on there put it and put some ceiling and I'll show you how it goes so you gotta take off this bolt right here to get to it pull out your headlight and then as you can see this still sits on there so this 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 right here really is not hold, everything's pretty sturdy so this little part is just taking it off and as you can see there is your relay so what I did I basically tested uh, the portion that comes from the PCM right there that grounds it out and uh, just made sure that it was actually working that the PCM was actually sending a signal to this and we found out that that was working so the only other thing that we're going to do we're just going to take off these uh, two screws right there with uh, I believe it's 8 millimeter, and that's it pull that out put a brand new one on there and to verify that it's working we're gonna we're gonna just turn on the AC and if the fans turn on there, there we go. We have a fix right there. All right, so there you go. If you have, a, say, a Jeep Grand Cherokee that has an issue, I forgot what year this is from. Uh, I would probably make a guess from like 97 to 2002, maybe. That's just a guesstimate. But if you have that, and uh, if you have that issue, make sure that you have a wiring diagram. I don't want you to just go straight to this and, 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 and uh, and just make an assumption 
and you don't need a power probe as well you can actually use a multimeter like I said it shows you the voltage right there so what you're gonna do you're just gonna see if there's a voltage coming out from right here from the little pin and, uh, and, 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 and see if that's working out or you can actually just give a like like I did with the power probe just use the battery and jump the fan just to see if that's working <sighs> but that's enough for me talking if you have any questions please submit anything on there I know this is not the prettiest thing you know but it gets the job done as you can see we can put that back on there and uh, like I said I'm just gonna silicone that back on there but if you do like this video, please subscribe, thumbs up, and share. Hope you all have a nice day. Take care. Bye.